Lomax is basically the character that uh, the artist, Milry Hughes, uh, was trying to create uh, as he was an abstract artist and he was looking for a figure because he was fed up with abstract. And so he wanted to become a figurative sort of artist. And, and this character, Lum uh, Lummox, is uh, um, these guys from when he was a kid who used to kind of hang around and terrorise the village. And they wore cheesecloth shirts and old mullets and uh, were into kind of glam rock. And, uh, you know, um, so that's the kind of figure that he was looking for. So now, is this a character he assumes in your film, or is it a character he assumes as an artist? I'm, I guess I'm confused about how, what, where is the fiction in the film and where is the, yeah. the fact? Well, I think what happens in the film, as it evolves, is uh, his search for the for the figure uh, is actually right in front of him, the Lomax character, which is me. So I kind of become this person who kind of lumbers around, gets in the way, and is kind of mucking up his uh, plans. That wasn't the intention originally, but that's kind of how it evolved. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, at the same time in the film, I'm... I'm kind of reassessing my my life as a filmmaker. Uh, I've been working in television for like 20 years, and and it's a kind of reaction to that. So at the same time, I'm kind of finding out what is you know what is filmmaking or art for me. You know what is it to be an artist? So it's an exploration of his art, but also of your art. Of yeah, it kind of goes parallel. So mm -hmm. the two stories. I mean, initially, initially I start I start filming him, and then uh, become involved. You know, in from, I kind of switch from being behind the camera to being in front of the camera, mm -hmm. and then just kind of getting in the way, basically, and then the film becomes more about me. How did you come up with this idea, and how did it kind of evolve into the place of where it is now? Well, it started because uh, I was in New York at the time. Um, I was at a bit of a loose end. I just finished doing a, a job, uh, which wasn't a terrible, good experience uh, for a kind of very low-budget TV show, and. Um, I'd kind of finished doing that and I was hanging around and I, I, I knew Milry. I went around to see him and say hello and everything and he's, he's like, oh, well, I'm doing, this, uh, I'm doing this performance in Miami, why don't you film me, you know, and uh, make a documentary about me. And, I'm, and, and in my life, about my point in my career is like, well, after I'd been filming for about a day, I was thinking, well, this is what I do to get, this is what I do to make a living, you know, and I'm not, this is, like, this is going to be a lot of work for nothing, you know, so I kind of, suggested, uh, I basically said, well, you know, you know, I'm not sure about doing this. And he said, well, just make whatever film you want. And so I did. Wow, this is the result. <laughs> and this is the result of that. So it kind of evolved as we were filming. Um, in fact, what actually triggered off the direction, the, the different direction the film takes, is that he's, I was interviewing him in the street, and he turned around and said, are we rolling in the camera? And he said, so, Peter, what about you? What's the problem? And I'm like... Well, you know, I just want to make films, you know, I'm always making films for other people and I want to make my own film and I want to be an artist like you, you know, kind of thing. Because uh, I kind of admired the fact that he was sort of doing his own stuff and I'm always kind of working as a jobbing director, you know, and I kind of realised that and I was kind of getting a bit fed up with it. So, uh, so it kind of came from that and as we were filming I'd come up with ideas of, of things to do and things that I wanted to say. Um, that, were, that were from my influence, you know, from uh, college and stuff, and the films that have influenced me that I always put into it. So it kind of, because he sort of said, we'll do whatever you want to do, I had no restrictions by anybody, there was no producers, no TV company telling me what to do. This is a kind of moment of liberation for me. So, so I just did whatever I wanted to do. That's and they exciting. Kind of dug a really big hole. Apparently, <laughs> a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what did you kind of take then from having this great opportunity to make a film the way you wanted to and all this, this journey that you've kind of gone on with it? Um, what did I take from it? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I might go back to being a chopping director. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I think, uh, I, I mean, I've learned, I learned a lot from doing it and, um, uh, and also it's all about um, sort of trying to find some kind of honesty in what you're doing, you know, and I was... And, and that's quite difficult. What's really great about, the fest about these festivals and about the independent film, they don't broadcast that stuff anymore. You know, films that people just made on their own, you know, they've had their own control over it, and they're kind of true, true films, which, which don't follow a format, you know. They follow their own stuff, anything, and that's good, you know. It's not like Hollywood. 
done the same films really, aren't they? You know, the same actors in it. You know, it's just, it's a set, my, this is a reaction, my film is a reaction to, to, to the way television has gone, it's, the, it's become so formula, formulaic. Um, there's not a lot of room for sort of creativity as a director anymore. Come and see the film, <laughs> love it. <laughs> what's the day and what's the time? Saturday, 1.15.